<laughs> okay. Hi everybody. Hey, this how you is doing? Matthew. I'm Mark. Brilliant. And you're here to talk about Tickly Kick Profiles. Okay, very good. So Mark, um, we've got a little bit of a presentation to talk to us today about profiles, because this is a really big new thing which is gonna mm -hmm. totally change the way Tickly Weekly works. So over to you. Okay, well great. The the question the thing with profiles is that TikiWiki has tons of features. It can be used in for many, many different things. Uh, you can do pretty much everything with it, but of course you don't want to do everything, you want to do something. So you may want to do it for a blog, you may want it a uh, corporate wiki. And uh, one of the tricky things in the past is uh, with all these features, how do I get to activate what I need for, for my specific uh, project? Yeah, I agree, because when I first came to TikiWiki, I had a few things that I wanted to do. And I'd been looking around on the internet, and I found one thing that did one of them, another thing that did another one, another one that did another one. But nothing did all of them. And I came to TikiWiki, and there it was on a list. It'll do this, this, and this. I thought, great, I just got exactly what I want in one place from one bunch of people, and it's bound to work together. And it did. The problem was searching through all the other stuff that it does as well. And this profile thing's really important because it would have meant that I could just go, I want one, two, three, and it'll just give me a big step up so I get going with it. And later on, I can add more and more stuff in as I get to know how to use it, which is just really great. That's why I'm here, hoping everybody finds it as exciting as me. All right. So one good example would be, for example, we want a profile for a software community. A software community will want a bug tracker, will want some wiki pages for documentation, they'll want something to track their users to see who's working on what, um, and then instead of uh, having to, to figure all that, what, that out, it could just say, okay, I'm going to pick the software profile, boom, I have my software community, and tweak it from there. But some, some other community could be totally different. I want a corporate extranet, for example. That's going to be very different because I won't, I won't want to, it to be public. I won't want a public bug tracker. I'm more going to want to have an issue tracker for each customer to be able to interact with the company. Yeah, and you're going to want people to register. So before they can see anything, they have to register and maybe some sales manager has to approve, approve them, mm -hmm. which it wouldn't what you'd want if you had an open public wiki page. So this will help them get to that point where they've got a registration system all ready for them to go. Exactly, and one of the magic things in, in the way we've designed it is that each profile is a wiki page, so the communities can participate and, and improve these profiles collectively. So you know, people could get around the one specific profile, supposing we have a profile which is about the publishing industry, so an extranet for a publishing industry company. So all the people who are interested in that type of thing could get together and improve the profile together. And if it gets, uh, it's not exactly what some people need, they could just make another profile, fork that profile, and, and improve it for their specific needs. So, the, the TikiWiki team will produce a profile called Extranet, mm -hmm. and it will have a few obvious things that an Extranet needs. But there will be other groups of people that have an Extranet, but they have another group of obvious things, and they'll be able to add those on and give the Extranet profile a new name and then they'll have people that will be able to get that solution for their specific needs straight out of the box. And that's where we'll have these communities of people actually building solutions with TikiWiki. And I wouldn't be surprised that beyond participating, collaborating on these profiles, they probably find other reasons to collaborate and to exchange information. Yeah, exactly. They may even start to find that there's supplies and things that they could introduce and they can maybe start funding some of the work that's going on as well. Mm -hmm. And TikiWiki will be at the core of that and they can start to use all the other things in TikiWiki to organise it. Of course. So they'll become real power users then. Of course. So here are a few examples. Uh, we have like free tags. Uh, someone could come, okay, I want a site with free tags or I want a multilingual wiki. So this is a short list for now. We encourage everybody to, uh, to hop on and to participate, create, create the profiles that you would need. And if there's any features that are missing in TikiWiki uh, in for, for one or the other profiles, well, we'll just make that as generic as possible so it applies to, to several profiles. But then they can always create a copy and change it mm -hmm. the way they want it. Of course. And then hopefully they'll share it back to the community so everyone else can use it as well. Yep. Well, thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Mark. Right. I think it's back to the beer. <laughs> <laughs>